Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. In this tutorial, we'll be discussing the console API that is available in JavaScript. To code along at home with us, open Chrome and go to the web page about blank. Then open up your developer tools with Control Shift I on a PC or Command Option I on a Mac and go to the console tab. There is a reason why the console API has the same name as the console tab. When you use the console API, the most basic function of which is log, it logs a message that appears here in the console. It doesn't appear anywhere on the screen. Typically, the console is only available to developers but since anyone can open developer tools and see console statements, it's best not to leave them in production. We've already had a look at console log. Console log can log a string or it can also log an object. So if I call console.log window, I get a reference to the window. I can open it and in the console you can investigate objects and open them up deeper and deeper um, to find whatever properties you're looking for. So this is very cool, the ability to log objects like that. Now the next feature of console is warn. Console warn is a lot like console log except it logs a statement in orange. So we'll say console.warn, watch out. And you can see here's the statement and there's a little yellow exclamation point next to it. That's about all there is for console warn. You can also call console.error. An error has occurred. As you can see, now it looks like there's an error that's happened and you even get a path to the stack of where the error occurred. This is different than saying throw new error as throwing a new error will crash your program and stop your code. Console error just outputs an error to the console. The next interesting console feature is console.info. So if you call console.info, it outputs info with this friendly informational symbol next to it. The info field is useful if you want to display information that uh, might uh, be important but not an error or a warning. The last feature of console is console.table which can show a cool table. We'll have a demonstration. So console.table takes an array and in that array you have to pass objects that are at least uh, mostly similar. So we'll just pass a couple of objects. We'll say name is Bran, name Rob, name John. And we'll pass console table these three arguments. And you can see now it's output a table with the information of what each of these objects have. If we add another property to each of the objects, we'll just say age is eight, age is 14, age is 14. We get a useful table. Console.table can be very useful for debugging more complex code objects. The last thing we're going to look at isn't uh, really quite uh, part of the console, but it is um, a useful feature nonetheless. So we're going to look at debugger. So we'll say function test var a equals one debugger. So if I call test, I'm now in the, con the context of my function. If I say a, it's equal to one. Then if I exit the debugger context by pressing this forward arrow, if I try to call a, it's not defined because it was only defined in that context. Well, that's about it for this tutorial on the console API. It has many more features, so I encourage you to investigate more and see how console can help you.